Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Finnish 13 by Sanctum Lucia or Lucia Dan. I'm doing this collab with a bunch of ladies from Sweden and from Denmark. I hope you will check them out. They are linked down in the description as always. This is the last update we will do before the finale and I think I can say that we are working on another project and working out the details and stuff so hopefully it will be something very very soon so let's start with the empties and i have four empties this time around and i'm very very excited some of them i just finished like a few days ago and some of them i finished a week or two ago so the first one is my yves rosé clementine and spices shower gel and this has small beads in it so it was an exfoliating shower gel i hate i don't like this scent at all i thought i liked it so that's why i bought like two of the same scent and um, this one and then a reg regular shower gel but i don't like this at all it doesn't smell very nicely i'm very ha happy i powered through this i didn't use too much of it each time but i did use it and i'm very very happy this is gone and i will never buy the scent again i'm i'm working on a shower gel in the scent right now and i just want it gone because i don't like it that much but yeah i put it in like a few months ago and i started here last update and now i'm done this is an an exciting one i have my swarskov gliss daily oil repair hair oil and I finished it. I'm so excited. It's so insane that this small bottle of uh, 75 milliliters lasted me two and a half years. Insane. So last update, I was all the way down to here. Yeah, there is some left, but I just can't pump it out. I'm pumping away and no, nothing comes out. So this is done and I'm working on another one now and I'm very, very excited about it. So the next item is my my color workshop highlighter blush tower and this is completely done yeah a few months ago i added this in in hope that i could finish it and i did i'm so excited i didn't like this product that much it didn't do anything you couldn't see the color you could see the shine but that's it so very very happy that i have used up a highlighter in my collection so yeah and i have been working on this for like the whole year so very excited about that The last item I have finished is my nail polish from Depend. This was a red, blue, green, silver glitter nail polish. My manicure is so bad, I need to change it. But it is the last application I have on my nails today. So I'm very, very excited about it. I was up here last time and I have held it on the side and scooped it out and onto my nails. It was so goofy, you wouldn't even imagine. So I have cleared out everything in this small tube here so the first item i believe i can use up is the benefit the professional small sample size and i'm down to here right now so last update i was up to here so i'm pretty sure i can finish it off by the finale which is in a month the other thing i hopefully can use up by the next update is my depend nail polish like a silver blue glitter so kind of the same thing as this one but i really hope i can use this up because i don't really like nail glitter that much it is so hard to get off my nails again and it strips my nails if they peel off you know some of the items i'm pretty sure i can't finish up is my benefit positent uh, lip and cheek stain i have used this quite a bit compared to the last few months but I'm pretty sure I can't finish this up, so I'll use this up next year. But I'm using it. I like the color. I have it on today. In the last week or so, I have used it on top of my foundation. And I've just come to realize it removes my foundation. And if I try to fix it, no. I really need to try to remember to use this before my foundation and after my primer. And then I have my Technic Single Shadow here. And I have hit pan since last update because last update I dropped it so it shattered on camera and I repressed it and now I have hit pan and it is so thin but 
I really need to up my game if I want to finish this by the finale in a month. But it's just so boring all over the lid because the shine is not there. Um, it's not shimmery. I really, really like the shimmery stuff on my eyelid. Um, so I have tried to use it in my crease and on my lower lash line like every single time almost. And I think that's the way I'm going to use it up because I just don't like it as a lid shade anymore. I will try my hardest. I will try to use it every single time I use makeup. But yeah, the love for it is fading a lot. The last item I have is my Gush Intense something. My Gush Velvet Touch Eyeliner in 023 Black Ink. And this is getting small. It just don't seem like it want to move. Here I am and I'm pretty excited about it. And if I haven't put it in this project, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have used it because I prefer my liquid liner, I really do. I'm pretty happy about this and this is not even a year old, so I'm very excited about my progress overall. And if I if I don't finish it in this project, I'm, I'm good. It's okay. So I'll just work on it here next year. So I'm pretty sure if I put it in another project besides this one, it will be done. So I, I'm not in a rush or anything. That's everything for this video. Please check out the other ladies if you haven't already. They are lovely. I love all their videos and they do tons of project pants as well. They are just lovely persons. We are here on Instagram and YouTube by the way. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to follow my progress and be uh, updated for the finale in a month and I have so much planned next year that I'm so excited to start over and yeah I hope you follow along and check out my social media in the end slide and then I will see you soon. Bye guys!